Good morning, I'm Eric Henriksen. Shiny golden fossils making fools out of scientists for decades. A recent discovery at the University of Texas is reversing years of thought. Dr. Rowan Martindale and doctoral student Sinjini Sinha have an obsession with extinction. These are from the early Jurassic, which is from about 183 million years ago. It's the time where organisms were dying, going extinct, but it's also at the same time we find like organisms are well preserved. Skin and hair frozen in time. They preserve an exquisite detail with even embryos and babies preserved in, in their mothers. Animals wiped out by a change in the Earth's oceans. Suddenly, seas ran out of oxygen. Anything that swam around in the surface ocean died, fell to the seafloor, and then there was no oxygen. That low oxygen preserved the fossils, but also... Many of them have this beautiful sort of golden sheen. Believed for decades to be caused by a mineral, pyrite, commonly called fool's gold. Everyone assumes they're gold because they're pyrite. But when viewed through a modern electron microscope. I found like the pyrite is present minimally on the fossils. Instead, it was on the rock surrounding the fossil. So anything golden on the fossil is actually phosphate. And here's the twist. Phosphate needs oxygen to form, meaning the oceans may have had more oxygen in them during the extinction event. The team checked dozens of samples from a quarry in Germany. The fossils that we scanned at UT Austin were three centimeters and smaller in size. Bigger fossils will be sent to the University of Missouri, with all showing the same results. Often it's, it's more like uh, a detective looking for clues. And fossils from sites in Canada and the United Kingdom showed the same thing. There's a lot of work being done in paleontology that relies on assuming that we're seeing everything and we're very rarely seeing everything. Modern technology bringing new life to an old discovery. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. The discovery could help researchers better understand how the fossils formed and how oxygen levels in our oceans affect life there. You can learn more about how this works on KXAN.com.